זכרתי לך חסד נעורייך, אהבת כלולותייך, לכתך אחריי במדבר, בארץ לא זרוע. Every Musaf of Rosh Hashanah, we sing this one section called Zichro Note of Memories. And among the verses that we recite is one from Jeremiah where the Prophet says in the name of God, Zacharti la chesed neuraich, I remember to you, I remember for you, our young love, lechtech acharai bamidbar, when you followed after me through the desert. And so as we begin the book of Bamidbar, the desert, what we call in English numbers, this week in the Torah, it's important to remember that remembering itself is such a powerful and selective experience. How is it that we remember things? What was that desert? We left Egypt, we're going to a promise, but what's in between? You could look at it so many ways. One of the ways is an entire generation of freed slaves died. You could also say an entire generation of free people was born. You can say from God's perspective, Kivyachol, as if we could know if you follow the Psalms, you say, Arba'im shana kut bedor. For 40 years I wrestled with their generation and I knew they'd never make it to the Promised Land. Mm -hmm. They just don't listen. Or you can follow Jeremiah's verse, the one that I just sang, which is, I remember the honeymoon. I remember this unsown land, the possibility of a place that had no content yet, where the memories were things we wrote, not things we remembered. Of course, it's never that simple. You can't actually have just the past or just the future. We bring it forward as we move forward. And perhaps the generation that was born in the desert could say to themselves, the pain of that loss, the pain of enduring that experience, the pain of being in a desert where we had to rely on love. We had to rely on the beneficence of a God who sends manna, who gives us moisture in a desert. Wow, that's a lot of love. And oh, that's a lot of loss. All of that is true inside of us. All of that is true inside of us all of the time. So perhaps the question is not what is the desert actually, but how do we choose to experience the pain that we endure as we move forward in life? Can we learn to look forward to love and be in it in our moments of actual living? If we do that, just imagine what it will be like to look back at this moment. What song will you sing tomorrow, next month, in a year, based on the way you go through this moment right now? So as we enter the desert once again, may we be blessed to be open to its possibilities, knowing that we bring our whole selves, lumps and all, as we take the next step forward.